and radioactive. have a company that they set up and they go to like houses, lakes out houses and stuff, like the big out country houses and they clean up and just clean for them and get paid and it seems like it's a pretty good system. I don't remember if they said if they're going to do this full time or not but I was just thinking this could be like a whole thing for them. They can live in a jeep and go to houses and clean. Although uh, I guess they'd have to carry all the cleaning supplies so I don't know if that would work. It would be kind of a cool system, I never thought of that. But she already has a business, she has a t-shirt and everything. And uh, they offered to have me come help them and make some money. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna make some money, guys. So we're gonna go clean up this house, get some money. Should be a good time. Texoma Lake is just like right over there. We're out here cleaning this house. They're paying me to help them out and we're just about wrapping up and cleaning up some stuff. It is really pretty out here though. It's got like these huge houses and then lakes right here. I was just checking it out. There's a bass right there. Like I could see him swimming. He's like a foot long. It's just, ugh. I wish I had a fishing pole. The water is super clear. You can see to the bottom up to like that's probably three feet right there. I wanna get out to the lake. I wanna get the Jeep out to the lake. I'm like really excited to get out here. But for now, the weather's like perfect too. I love it. But I think it's supposed to rain the next couple days. Either way, I better go help them wrap up. I'm gonna go get things bolted together and head back to the house to put some stuff on the Jeep. That's cool. It's like a, like a camera bag. Right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, one of your fuses is in there. Oh, you can have it. You might need that fuse. No, I have a kit of them. Oh, they're okay. I do too. <laughs> we you have a have Jeep. Kits. You have a Jeep, you better have fuses. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I've only blown relays, which That's is good. the big ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just, good. It's not good. <laughs> no. But 
where we had these side carrying bags. And he said that he's not going to use them. He said if I want them, I can have them. And they look awesome. I mean, there's so much storage in here. I've never even seen these things. I have too much, too much stuff in here. Too much of it. Uh, I'll figure it out. They are emergency tire valves. So if you're off-roading, right, mm -hmm. like we do for what we do, you jab it down in that hole where your, your valve goes in, mm -hmm. twist it one time, and you now have an emergency, it'll get you back to the shop. Oh, gotcha. In case you blow off yeah. your... If you yeah. hit rock or something hits it off-roading, mm -hmm. and you untwist it, put it back in your little box, you have it for later. I wish you remember that. Yes. <laughs> you want one of these. Definitely. Yeah. It's like worse than blowing off a sidewall. Don't judge me guys, it's it's a cheat day, okay? Look at that. It's a maple donut. I love it. Coffee. So good. Roy gave me. I haven't had the chance to organize anything in them, but I'm like super excited about them. There's so much storage space in there. Like, especially because of the convenience of where they're located. These things are awesome. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm really excited about them. I'm going to start hanging stuff on these. It's going to be great. Yeah, these things are super cool. Um, I already like, I already gave a huge shout out to them, but I have to say it again. Like They have been so helpful on this trip, and they have been like a huge motivational booster in the first place. Just, I mean, th these, were not, these weren't people I've ever met before. I didn't know anything about them until I ran into them, and they only know about me because I, of this channel, and like... You know, just thinking about like how many people I've, you know, how many friends I've made just from this platform alone, just be, by doing what I'm doing and, you know, traveling, doing this whole road trip and stuff. But then to just actually see it in person and see how much I'm actually supporting people and encouraging people to actually try to live this lifestyle was like a super cool thing to see, especially with them starting their own journey soon. It was super cool to see like how much just me you know doing this has been an encouragement to people and I do get messages very often from people who reach out to me and you know tell me how much they enjoy watching my videos and I love getting those text messages I have you know people send me these emails and um, I just um, I just really appreciate all the support I get not just by physical you know support but also just by like you know the emotional support I receive from people it really does mean a lot to me the channel is gonna slow down here soon because I don't want there to be another incident now this is the third time I've had to restart the trip third times a charm guys and I did make a lot of mistakes before that I realized I shouldn't have made that really hindered me you know for example the harmonic balancer me when I started this trip with that belt being broken I would have drove it until the belt snapped and it would have just caused problems. But if I would have taken care of Bonita longer, and if I would have just slowed down and took my time with things, I wouldn't have had so much of an issue. But, you know, some stuff needed to be fixed before I was able to do that. And I think I'm finally, you know, willing to slow down. I'm going to make sure I do this right. There's always tomorrow. That's why I'm not in Oklahoma now. I know I told you guys the plan, when I left my family's house, the plan was to be in Oklahoma out in the forest by that day but I don't regret any of it because by slowing down I was able to get a couple things worked out on the Jeep things that could have been much worse if I would have you know driven off into the forest I was able to meet some incredible people I was able to make some money I was able to work for them and you know just today in general was a super exciting day for me I've had trouble sleeping the last couple of nights but beforehand where I had trouble sleeping maybe because of stress or because I was just emotionally overwhelmed I'm actually having trouble falling asleep the last couple of days because I've just been so excited by how things have been going that I just have trouble sleeping. It's just been such an exciting week for me so far. I've loved this journey so far and I can't wait to get back into the forest, can't wait to get back in Colorado and to hopefully meet more of you guys. I'm super excited to continue this journey. I cannot describe to you how much better I've felt the last couple of days. I felt more myself these last couple of days than I've felt in a very long time and I'm really excited about that. But I appreciate everyone who stuck with me 
this whole time and if you would like to become a patreon supporter i have a link at the end of this video it's gonna be right on this side or right on this side I, f I forget which it's on one of these sides you can click that and then anything you can do helps guys i appreciate any support i can get but like i said until then i will be working you know odd jobs i might have to i might have to skip a day here and there stay in town do doordash and then i'm not going to apologize for having to take a week off I love making these videos guys and I will continue to make them as often as I, as I can especially the more I get out and around but if I'm gonna have to take some time off sometimes to do work that's just what I'm gonna have to do in order to keep this going. I'll see you tomorrow. If I wake up tomorrow I might go into a coffee coma. Coffee coma. <sighs> I might get killed in this QT parking lot. You never know. I might stay awake all night. I have so much energy. I'm. That's it. I'm gonna pull an all-nighter, guys. I don't even need to sleep. Sleep is for the week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink coffee all night. Never fall asleep. Yep, I'll organize these bins. I'll hang out in this parking lot. It'll be great. I'm gonna finish the Justice League. I'm gonna finish the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League. I'll stay up all night watching it if I have to. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, for a fact, unless something blows up, I am going to Oklahoma.